have one. Okay, so we go on. Now we talk about this stop. Okay. In short, short issue. Stand behind the door. So we're talking about this part. This should not be like a boxer. This should not be like a uh, hunting dog. This shall be marked, but not too much. So this is standard middle five. Now we talk about the upper jaw. And the upper jaw is wrong. Now we talk about the under jaw, middle five. Okay, and the, the back of the nose is straight. Where is this? Yes, it's not fine. So, and we look at this, take the hand like this. And then you see the upper jaw has a curve. You see this? Yeah? So this is So it's not little five, but it's three. not wings. Okay. Okay. Now we talk about the other jaw. Is this two less? Is this okay? It's okay. It's middle five. Now we talk about the now we are standing up. Just get him forward. And you stand up and hold it. Stand up and hold it. You can see the dog. Okay. We talk about the upper life. Stand, just stand. That is not too much. Comfortable. Don't you kill the dog. Don't <laughs> Here. This way. And just easy. Just easy. One turns. And then you go here. This, of course, is not that easy so to the boy for the dog. And normally, this is very fast. But as we want to explain everything, we take a little bit more time. So, this is the bed. The upper line. And we talk about the... Was it done? Was it? Uh, the neck first, I think. The, yeah, the neck. The neck of the dog shall be 45 degrees. And this dog has a normal neck. It can be short, it can be longer. This tendency is short. But it's okay. So, then we talk about the wither rift. Wither height? If you open the fingers, touch the, touch the, the shoulder blood. The shoulder? The shoulder. And we touch the spine. And here the shoulder is a little bit higher than the bones of the spine. Therefore, it's not normal, but it's the same size, it's normal. When the spine is higher, it's here. When the spine is deeper, it's some deep, low free. Oh, it's so free? I thought it was normal. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking about the back. Is it straight? Long straight, short straight, then we have this, or this, or this, or this, and this dog has a nice straight thing. <coughs> Middle five. So, now we talk about the lines. Points. This is this. This part. This is important that there are strong muscles because they stabilize the spine. And this dog is a little bit small. Down to three. Now I'm missing my... to measure my angle. We have a... Uh, instrument to measure the angle. I'm sorry I did not bring this because it is very interesting how we decide the angulation. The most important part to talk about angulation is now I need you here go this direction and stand here. So stop seven minutes. Hold your behind. Thank you. 
Yeah. If you want to put the dog in the right position, the best is to take him up and just rip down. Then he's standing probably in the front line. And if you want to describe a shepherd, you must so just lift him up and throw him down and take him shorter so that he doesn't move. Not hard, just easy, short. So. Now, we coordinate, you must put this thing there. Uh, vertical. Vertical. Yes? And now we can describe the hind legs. This is a pelvis. This is a forehead. The tibia. The tibia. This is the position. Yes, yeah, the lower one. This is the one in the middle. Yeah. This is the back foot, the little back foot. Yeah. Yeah. So. The length of these two bones should be the same. You go here, you bend it, and you see here, this one, and here in this. So. So you see, this one is shorter than this one. Now you get the answer why this dog doesn't trot, doesn't like to trot. This is the first. You can also do this in this way. My hand is long enough. Here is the corner, you see, there is the corner. You go up here in the middle of the pelvis. In the angulation, no, stay. And I go with my finger from here to here, and my hand is big enough. Now let's see what happens. If I go here, I'm missing this space. So, this bone is this longer than this bone. They should be same length. And this dog is Nice. The show dogs are terrible dogs. And therefore, they are unstable. They can stand up. Stable. A dog stands here in the angulation. And when he stands here, he stands stable. A shepherd shall stand a little bit back. So, this means when here in the pelvis, here is the angulation, he still stands here at the end of his bone. So if you put this leg in the right position, that this is vertical, and you do this, he's standing this right too much behind, and exactly this, what this bone is too long. And this makes it unstable. That's it. Why should it stand a little bit more behind this point here? Because the power comes from the back. And now, when the power comes, it shall go up and forward. And therefore, it must stand a little bit behind. If it's standing direct under it, the power goes in this direction. If it goes too much here, this dog can push it out. But the front leg cannot cover it in the trot. Therefore, this dog goes again off and doesn't like to trot. And when he trots, he very quick goes and gallop. So to go to the dumbbell, to come here, because he's not able to trot so easy. Legs is too long. So, now, the front. You have here the shoulder. You have here the upper arm. And both here in the corner of the, of the bone. This is as long as my hand. I come it up and I come to the top of the shoulder. Both are the same legs, perfect. <coughs> now comes the angulation. This angulation shall be up to 100 degrees. There is never 90. Impossible. This is an error of the standard. Never be 90. They did the research in the University of Jena. There is no 90. It shall be up to 110. And now we have our 
measurement, we put it here, we put it here, and we see this is a little bit more. This is 120. So this dog is a little bit too less angled in the front leg. Now remember, in the back, long power. Short angulation in the front. So what comes from the back, this dog cannot cover with the front. If we get it, or it trots. And the trot is because he's unstable, he's not standing on his legs. The legs are standing there, the body is here. And it's worse with shoulder dogs because they are done for running. And when they have much power and they lift them up, they have long front legs. But this is all fooling. Let them run, let them go. Normally, terrible. They cannot gallop, they cannot walk, they cannot trot slowly. They only look nice when they trot quick. All the other things, awful. Because too much angulation unstable. So now about the angulation. We talk about the crew. Crew is something with hair, muscles, tail, and of course bone. All things on the dogs we talk about bone. Shoulder, upper arm, underarm, uh, this bone, this bone, and here we talk about something which is not bone. This is crazy. In RV2000, we talk about bone. And the bone of the pelvis is from here to this. You feel this point. If we go with our hand to this, put the measure here, make it horizontal, and we see this dog has. 28, right, must stand proper, and now it's different. Now it's between 30 and 35 degrees, and this is a normal screw. So, and we are here, this is middle five. But we prove it with a measurement. The length of this screw is, can be very long, it can be very short or it can be okay. As long as my big hand. Okay? Five. Five, middle five. Now the tail, they can stand up. The tail shall be as long as this middle feet. It's not shall be on the on the ground. And this is hair, here's tail. Yeah. This is a long coated floor and the tail goes directly to the middle of the of this middle of this. So the tail has the right length. No. Middle five. Now we talk about the underline of this dog. It shall not be like a hunting dog. And it shall not be like a pig. And this dog has a good underline there shall be enough room for the inner organs. Middle. Then we talk about this part of the dog. This shall not be too much, but this shall not be too less. And here is nothing. So the dog has no only coat in front of this. And there is a little bit less. Low three. Go. The underline is low middle five. The angulation in the front. This is we, again. We put the dog in the right position. The right position. Vertical, and then we go with the measurement here to here, and this is more than 120 degrees, so it's not middle five, it's low three. Now comes shoulder and upper arm. If they have the same length, middle five. 
Next one. So, this is middle five. Okay. And the upper arm also, the same length I showed the middle five. If a dog has a short upper arm, this is very nice for obedience. They make tack 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 and it's cool. It's not effective, but it's showing off. Okay. So this dog is normal. Now comes underarm. You can stand, and we just look from the side, and it is straight. There is no curve in the front and underarm. Middle five. So now comes this. Now comes this part. And this dog is standing very nice and tough. It's typical. Caster. 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 Okay. I, I just show it. Yeah? And this is terrible. Not many shepherds. They are like this. And this is so ineffective and this is so tiring when the dog moves. And we must look with our shepherd that they have like this one, a very tough angulation here. It shall be 20 to 20 degrees. And we put our measurement on 20 degrees, and then we put it beside, and we see if the, this part standing like this or like this. This is nice. Yeah. <coughs> so, of course, this is terrible and tiring. But this dog Nice pores, they are closed and they are curved. The chest, you must feel. And this chest is flat, it's too flat. It's chelly, a little bit round, not like a ton. But this dog should be a little bit like that. So, down three. Angulation. Again, you put the dog in the right position. You put the measurement marina here, here, and you see this is 120 degrees. This is okay. Plus or minus 5 degrees. The length of the of this bone is okay. But the length This is too long. Up three. This is this part too long. The pause. No, the hip. The, this, when he's standing, he stands too far behind because the, the bone is too long. This is uh, up three. And the show dog is up one. The paws are closed. Now come the front. Make him stand up in this way. This way. Lift him up and throw him down. Stand up. Here, here you take the dog, here, and throw him down. You see? And now, he's standing straight. He has no curved legs, and shoulder, upper arm, legs, it goes in one way. As we saw everything, it's okay. So, let me just mark it here. Middle five. Middle five. Middle five. And now here I think we have these pictures. What it is. And he's standing correct. <coughs> so, and the paws, they're not standing French. Not this way, they're standing in a proper position, like this. Middle five. 
Now we go out and we have hedges, which you can fill it in here. Now we normally go out and let the dog go this way, this way, you can go there, go there, this way and this way. Can you move a little bit? Can you move a little bit? <laughs> and we look at the hind legs. Loose leash. Now, on this ground, you see the dog is unstable because it's long legs and goes a little bit like this. Yeah? But this is not normal. Okay, come back. I saw this dog outside. And outside, he was going straight. Okay, come back here. We had this picture outside. The hind legs were straight when he was moving. But here you see the dog is unstable because of too much angulation and too long legs. So, the front legs. That's why you're in. This is middle five. It's parallel, it's middle five. And we have, when he comes from the front, he moves a little bit in this way. So it's. Uh, Lots of problems we had, but not many points we lost. 
and in the exterior. Very nice shepherd. So all in all, 900 points. This is SG. Well, this dog still is an SG dog. And this gives you a much more information of the anatomy than a show. And at the end, the result is this is no V dog, but this is still an SG dog in the anatomy. And in the mental part, it's uh, far out. So don't go to the show. One time, take your SG and uh, then go to the work and you have to run. Okay? So I hope it was possible to show you that you can prove anatomy. Objective, reproductible, with the right validation, what is the standard? And then you get a good result, what it is. Thanks for your attention. I hope.